Hey Bear, there's caravans and then there's this. Mate, in the world of metals, it doesn't get much stronger than titanium, does it? Is it in the same sort of league in caravans? The hardcore ATX, Jason, tell us about it. Well, it's uh, it's got a lot of bells and whistles, the ATX. So obviously we've got ATX suspension, airbags, disc brakes, you know, big energy drive lithium system, 800 watt of solar. It ticks every box. It looks hardcore to me. Bear, I'm going to get Jason to give me the grand tour. Why don't you go get a beer? Oh, can I? You can. <laughs> don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> First thing that catches my eye up front is this giant storage box. Yeah, uh, it's made by us too now. So we're doing these in-house with our we're partnering company, uh, Osmac Fabrication. So we can make tweaks along the way. They've come a long way, these boxes. They're really big. Storage compartment back here four tables and chairs, a really deep drawer, then you've got a barbecue or Weber storage below, and Jenny on the other side with another big drawer. So you've got the stone guard on the front, covering your gas bottles, aluminium protector in front of the reg, DO35. So what do we got here, Jason? That's a tunnel boot that goes right through. It's lined with checker plate, not gal. We don't like how the gal gets old real quick and oxidizes. And in here we've got our slide out kitchen. Underneath the awning, Weber, induction, gas doesn't blow out in the wind, and a sink back here. And it's because you've got all that lithium capacity that you can have an electric induction cooktop. That's right. Outside instead of a gas barbecue. Yeah, windy day, doesn't matter. So Jason, you said that this is your personal van. Yeah. Um, so I'm tipping you've got a lot of options on, on this van. So these speakers? Yep, so the dual speakers, they've been added on. Uh, we've got the truss chassis underneath, uh, bigger wheels and tires. Got the entertainment hatch here that's standard. That's where your airbag uh, controls go, so you can set your ride height, make sure your pressures are right, and you've got all your regular entertainment stuff in there too. So you got that full length awning? Yeah, full length awning. If we weren't filming today, we'd have it out, get out of the sun. That sounds brutal, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Jason, I'm not sure your rear bar's big enough. Nah, it's not bad, is it? So uh, this is in the R&D stage. We've got uh, jerry can either side, two spares, and a drawer. So by getting the wheels up high, it is negative to have them up high, but we're saving 300 mil of overall length off your van. So the big draw here is great. You get all your wet gear out of the toolbox. Uh, it's all light stuff anyway. So it keeps your toolbox dry and clean. And then uh, if you go with one spare wheel, there'll be an option for a wood box to go here too. So you said it's in R&D. Um, when do you hope to have it in production? This will be in production early next year. So what's the go here? More storage? Yeah, it's a, we call it the half tunnel boot. So because of the king bed inside, we get an extra storage compartment, which is great. So you've got more room for outside gear instead of having to lug it inside and get it under a bed. So that's a genuine domestic king size bed inside a caravan? Yes, it is. And it creates more space because there's no walkway. Honestly, Jason, I'm so glad you've got the reverse cycle aircon hooked up to the lithium batteries. We're off grid and we are nice and cool, nice and comfortable yeah. despite this heat. And that pressure hatch up there, that doesn't look like an off the shelf unit. No, we made that in house. Uh, it's got a few changes and that'll also be going to market early next year. You've got a wall mounted washing machine up there. We do. <laughs> Have you forgotten anything in this van? Uh, I don't think so. This is awesome. <laughs> What's one or two of your favorite features? Oh, it'll have to be the bed, the battery system, um, the poly water tanks, the airbags, all the things that make camping easy. So I noticed you don't have a full oven in here. You've opted to have the storage space underneath. But yeah. look, I guess in a van like this, you are gonna be living outside and you do have that barbecue anyway. Yeah, we've never cooked inside in 10 years. Even if it's raining, I'd still rather be outside cooking on the outside kitchen. And do you do all your own CNC machining? Yeah, so we CNC all the cabinetry in house. It's all interlocking. Um, every piece of furniture, no matter how big or small, locks into place and it's already square and strong before we screw it together. I haven't crawled underneath this van yet, so tell me, what sort of suspension are you using? So it's ATX airbags with the disc brakes. It's really the best suspension you can buy. So you've got three bunks on this caravan. They're all for your own kids. Um, yes. You've plenty of storage space up the back, plenty of kitchen cupboard storage space. I noticed that you've got some pretty big windows as well. Yeah, that's standard. So we'll always fit the largest window that possibly fits. It just opens up the van, makes you feel like you're not trapped in a little box. Yeah, I mean, Look at that view, you want to be able to check that out. Yeah. And you weren't lying, that's a king size bed. It's a full king bed. Now, as I said, there are caravans and then there's the hardcore ATX by Titanium. This thing's just a beast, mate, you must love it. Oh, we do, we get away as often as we can, it's great fun. Really appreciate it.